So I made yet another stubby hammer and I'm still messing around with this uh, oxide patina thing. I got the idea to use a strong base, a uh, drain cleaner, which is sodium hydroxide or caustic soda. Some people don't realize, but strong alkalines are just as corrosive as strong acids. So I clean off the scale and polish it up a bit. I really just want to see how this differs from using vinegar, if there's any difference at all. This is just unheated tap water. I need to give a big shout out to Ron Thacker for his most recent donation. Even my crazy videos take a lot of time, so it really helps. Thanks a lot, Ron. I also want to give a quick shout out to Graham Jameson. He's a recurring PayPal supporter, and I thought he canceled, but he didn't. Thanks a lot for sticking around, Graham. So obviously this drain cleaner is in flake form. A reaction is happening, it's become very hot. So it's been in there for a good hour. It's definitely dark in this piece. While it's not very black, it's very pleasing to me. This is actually better than the vinegar in my opinion. So I empty that out and I'm gonna try again, but this time with liquid drain cleaner. I picked this up, I got this bottle because that guy kinda looks like Duke Nukem to me. Some liquid drain cleaners are acidic, but this one says right here that it's an alkaline. It goes without saying, but be very careful if you do anything like this. I'm not any kind of expert, and I'm not trying to use anything that's incredibly strong. I top it off with some water, thinking that maybe water is needed for a reaction. So about another hour has elapsed, so I pull it out. It's gotten a little bit darker still. It's very consistent, and maybe it's hard to tell, but it has a brownish sort of hue. Here's a before and after, and you can somewhat see that brown tint I'm talking about. So I just completed this YK30 hammer, and I figured what the heck, I'll throw it in the Duke Nukem solution and see what happens. I first clean it with some acetone. Being that this is a different, harder steel, I don't know if that will yield a different result.
Okay, yet another hour has passed. I don't notice much of a difference at all. It may be that the solution has weakened, not exactly sure. Here you can see us uh, side by side for better clarity. I just really love that patina on the stubby 1045 hammer. I take a break and go to my local chemical supply store. This is just around the corner. I pick up two things. The first one here is oxalic acid. I use this a lot to clean the floor and other things uh, from my workspace area. This works really well to remove rust stains. The second one here is a bag of citric acid. Zumba Zumba 1 had recommended it and I figure well this is more harmless and they have it so I'll give it a go. Citric acid used in foods and beauty products is actually not taken from lemons, but is actually made from some type of a mold. I have a little leftover oxalic acid from a previous bag, and so I'll try that now. I heated this water to a little bit more than warm, but not boiling. Something's happening, bubbling away. So this is actually a few hours later. The change is very dramatic. It's a very dark gray greenish color. This is different. It's got a very dull matte finish. Just polishing the face a bit, I can see how this would be very interesting on something like a knife. It almost has a stone-like appearance when polished. Since this is a customer's hammer, I flap wheel the face to remove that patina there and see what polishing the body of the hammer does. The dark gray green is there, but now it's glossy. Very nice. I'm pleased with these experiments. I think the level of rust protection that this one has will probably be superior to the stubby hammer. Nonetheless, I like both. I decided to hold off on the citric acid and save that for another day, another experiment. If anyone's in need of a nice two pound hammer, get in touch. Thanks everyone, and I'll catch you guys next time.